Hello, and welcome back to another brand new episode of Books with Not Just Me. Today, I wanted to talk about a genre which I don't read very often these days, and these are thriller books that I'm talking about. Well, I used to read it at a point in time a few years back, but recently I have seen myself drift away from this uh, genre. But in the last year or so, I did pick up uh, two books which were quick reads for me. I sort of finished them uh, over a weekend. And I thought I would do a video talking about these two books. And an important reason to talk about these books is also the fact that I uh, used two different mediums to read this book. So one of the books I actually listened as an audiobook on my Audible, and the other book I read as an ebook on my uh, Kindle. So while I uh, talk about how I like this book in general, I also wanted to sort of give a quick review on how these different mediums are working out for me. So if you want to listen on to what these books are and how I felt about reading these books, then do carry on listening. And also please do subscribe to my channel if you would want to see get regular updates uh, from me whenever I post a video. So the first book that I'm going to talk about is The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. And the Girl on the Train is a fast-paced thriller with, unfortunately, run-of-the-mill characters. Now, it is it is like a book that is absolutely made for the movies. And uh, at the time of uh, reading this book, there was already, I think, a Hollywood movie uh, out. And I think very recently, there is also a Bollywood movie out, if I'm not wrong, starring Parneeti Chopra. So in any case, as I said, this book is really a book, when you're reading it, you would know that it would do great if a movie were made out of it. The central character in the book is Rachel, who is a um, depressive, alcoholic, estranged wife of a very handsome man. She describes him as a very handsome man. In this case, Tom. She has been unemployed uh, for a while and she lives with one of her friends. Uh, but she pretends to go to work every day just to avoid questions from her family and friends. Now, every day she takes a train from her home to this imaginary uh, office, or in fact, it was the uh, office that she used to work in, but then uh, was uh, later let go off. So she takes this train every morning from her home to this uh, place of work. And her favorite pastime is looking out of the window of the train, where at a particular point in time, she... Uh, she is in full view of a particular house where there is a couple who's living and uh, she loves watching that couple as the train you know passes by and hence the name the girl on the train now one day something quite remarkable happens that sort of changes the course uh, of her life now so far if you see it is a, it's a bit of a predictable uh, story. Uh, there are some twists and turns uh, in the story, but not something that you would absolutely not be able to predict. So there isn't the brilliance of either characterization or characters or plot. The characters are pretty run of the mill, as I said, uh, because Rachel being this depressive, um, compulsive um, lady who doesn't have a job. And then she starts imagining different situations in her head. And finally, her life uh, gets into a sort of a mess. And that's that's the thriller that it, that it revolves around. So you would ask that, why do I even read this book? Is, is this book even uh, worth the read? The reason I would say that this uh, book is worth someone's time is because the language is not as sordid as, it, as you would usually find it in a bad thriller paperback. In fact, it is a rather polished language and I was quite surprised by that fact. And most importantly, I actually listened to this book on an audiobook, on my Audible, and I believe that was one of the important factors that led me to like this book to the extent that I did like it. I mean, it is definitely not one of the books that I would reread or re-listen to, but it's a good enough book for me to read over a weekend. Now, the thing about this uh, audiobook is that the narration, especially on the audiobook that you find on Audible, is uh, quite intense. Uh, the way it has been narrated piques your interest all the time and you don't lose interest in the plot. Um, and it keeps you almost on your toes. 
And being an audio book, it also is a fast paced read, which you can easily finish uh, in a weekend. And that is why I would say that it is worth giving a bit of your time to, because after all, it is indeed a thriller, uh, although with not so great characters, uh, but uh, with a good language. And hence, I think it's a good recommendation for a weekend read or for a quick read. Now, the second book that I wanted to talk about is The Woman in the Window. And this is by A.J. Finn. I think this is another book that has been turned into a Hollywood movie. I think all thriller books are... <laughs> Sometimes I feel that thriller books are written to be turned into movies. Mm -hmm. In this, the central character is Anna Fox, who is a social recluse and lives in her house in a very upscale neighborhood in New York. Uh, she hardly ventures out of her house and hence her favorite pastime is looking out of the window, window of her bedroom. She is also an um, alcoholic, but uh, something that she doesn't realize and she thinks she only drinks occasionally. One day, new neighbors come into the house opposite hers and she gets, and from her window, she has a full view of the living room of that particular house. So one day while she's enjoying her drink, she looks out of the window uh, straight into the living room of uh, of her newly shifted in neighbors and uh, she spots something incredible uh, she spots what she thinks is is a murder and that's how sort of the plot um takes place now the thrill in the plot is almost sinusoidal so it sort of goes up peaks and then comes down and goes up and comes down. The storyline is quite snug, built around a strong you know, character arc. Now, although the story unfolds within the four walls of Anna's house, the author has done a pretty fantastic job of not diluting you know, the visual aspect uh, of the book or the story. I would say I did enjoy this book much more than the previous book because the characters are much stronger, the plot is... Um, much more put together also there isn't these cliche twists and turns that we usually that that are usually expected in a in a thriller for me this is definitely a good uh, weekend read if you want to now coming to how i read this book i read this book as an ebook on my e-reader there might be an audiobook available as well but since i haven't listened it to uh, on an audible i cannot tell you how good or bad the narration is but from an ebook point of view i think it is a quick page turner and yeah i do recommend this book as i said on a weekend uh, especially those weekends when you don't have an awful lot to do around the house or awful lot to do outside i think it's a pretty good book. if you have read any of these books do let me know what you thought about it if you have read other thrillers recently then do let me know about them as well i would love to hear your thoughts and i would also love to hear your thoughts about the content that i'm creating and sharing with you all Again, uh, if you do like this video, do consider sharing uh, this video with your family and friends. Do subscribe to my video because it really means the world to me. And with that, I will sign off for this weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy wherever you are. Until I see you next time. Bye for now.